I'm here with singing sensation Bishop Mayfield. Hi Bishop. Hi. I haven't seen you for what 30 years? Something like that, something close to that, at least 20 some odd years. Yes, uh, it's a real pleasure to be here. I'm really looking forward to hearing you tonight. So thank you for having us and allowing us to interview you. Thank you guys. You're very well missed in Eureka and our viewing audience, I'm sure, would love to hear from you. So, Bishop, I have a few questions for you. Do you mind? I do not. Okay. What, um, what was your impetus behind getting into the music industry? Well, I was born in, uh, in Harlem and, uh, you know, being raised around uh, uh, a lot of musicians, uh, uh, a lot of creative people back in the uh, 40s, 50s early 60s. Uh, I lived two blocks from the Apollo Theater. Uh, uh, got to see some of the best musicians on the planet. Count Basie, Duke Ellington. Uh, James Jones. Brown. James Brown. Actually, that's what made, that's what made my decision. I, uh, I saw James Brown in the famous Flames, uh, I think in 1956, 57. And uh, I, I said right then and there, that's what I want to do. Uh, that gave me my inspiration. Uh, uh, he wasn't the only one, but that, that, that would, was a great influence. Is there anyone in particular that has actually influenced your music career today? Or your music style? The genre of music that you now play? I think it's a little combination of all those people. Uh, I love jazz. I love doing jazz. I love doing stand-up jazz. I love doing uh, funk, I love soul, I love rhythm and blues, uh, reggae. Uh, I've had an opportunity to do all those, all those different genres. So it's, uh, uh, you know, I just feel fortunate that I'm still uh, able to sing and still have a fire for, for performing. Uh, I got to... Uh, Los Angeles in 1966 had the opportunity to uh, meet up with all kinds of incredible musicians, uh, Buddy Miles, uh, Lonnie Jordan from War, uh, Albert Collins, who uh, actually used to come up to Humboldt County uh, back in the day and uh, perform at Old Town Bar and Grill. Uh, he was a good friend, uh, sort of a mentor, I got a chance to tour with B.B. King, another great, great man, one of the best musicians and great people that I've ever met. Uh, I think anybody that's ever met B.B. King would say the same thing. He was a gentleman, class act all the way. Do you have any present projects going on, uh, new songs coming out, anything that our viewers can tune in and listen to? Well, uh, Dave Story from Commotion and myself uh, have been connected for the last five, five years, I believe. And uh, uh, we're, after we do this uh, uh, few gigs here in town, uh, we are gonna go into the studio and uh, record a new album. So we're looking forward to that. We're writing the songs as, as, as I speak, so. Some of that you'll be able to hear tonight. Fantastic. Do you have any advice for new musicians, up and coming new artists? Uh, my advice would be to learn your craft. Uh, go out and experience as much as you possibly can with different, different people. It doesn't have to necessarily be the same genre of music that you're playing, but you do need to have, uh, uh, I think you have to have your soul into it. You know, it's it's not it's not an easy profession. It's not something that uh, everybody's blessed to do. Uh, but if you love it, it's just like anything else. You have to you have to put some work and a little effort into it. And uh, uh, if you can find older musicians to hang out with, pick their brains, uh, see what uh, what kind of uh, experience they've had. Uh, that's what I did. I. I I went and hung out with as many people as I possibly could. Charlie Musselwhite, uh, uh, like I said, Albert Collins, Buddy Miles. Uh, went and actually hung out with those bands. Uh, 
got an opportunity to jam every once in a while with with certain people. Um, but that's the that's the advice I would give to up and coming musicians. That's excellent advice. Um, so may I ask who you're expecting to show up here tonight and who's playing with you? Uh, tonight I have a 10 piece band. Uh, we have uh, Tony Hayes on saxophone. We have uh, Gary Nelson on trombone, David Hubert on trumpet. Uh, on drums we have uh, the incredible and fantastic Denny Cromasi, who is the original drummer from Heart and Montrose. Uh, Dave Story uh, from Commotion back in the day, Humboldt County. Uh, Al Donardi, who is the co-founder of Musician's Friend. He also plays guitar. I have also uh, two fantastic female vocalists, Jennifer DePulia and Miss Carrie, uh, Kaylee Ryder. It's going to be a show, quite a show. I wish you were here, folks. Um, people in Eureka are always wondering if you're going to come back and do another review or play for us. Do you see anything in the future in terms of coming down to Humboldt and playing? I'd love to come back and, uh, and perform, uh, but you got to be invited and you got to be asked. So, uh, but uh, I had my 68th birthday party down there at the Blue Lake Casino. And uh, who knows, if, if I'm not invited, maybe I'll put together a show and, and come on down. Love the people down in South Co County. Uh, uh, spent a lot of time down in Garberville, playing at the Mateel Community Center as well. Blues on the lake. Uh, so I have fond memories of Humboldt and uh, have no problem coming back. I'd love to come we would love to have you back. Well. Folks, um, if you want to see Bishop Mayfield, you can find him, and I'll let you explain. I, I have him on my Facebook page, but I know there's other places you can find his music. So can you tell our viewers the uh, best place to tune in and listen to your, your new music, especially Getting Old? That's my song, and that song never gets old for me. Uh, that song was actually written by a friend of mine from a band that I was in in Monterey called Red Beans and Rice by the name of Gil Rubio, a fantastic band, had a great time with them, spent uh, six years, I believe, together down there with them. Uh, you can find most of my music, I guess, uh, either on Facebook or uh, SoundCloud. I have music there. I have music on Reverb Nation. Uh, I also have music on uh, Moeco Records, uh, which is another site I was uh, the A and R producer there for rhythm and blues for a couple of years, so you can all any of those places you can you can hear what I'm doing, and I try to keep up on my Facebook page as much as possible as to what we're doing. Well, fantastic. Is there anything else you would want our viewers to know before I conclude this interview? Uh, just wish that uh, everyone in Humboldt have has the greatest of health. Uh, Hope to see you soon, and uh, love you guys. You've been with Out Here in the Redwoods. I'm with Bishop Mayfield. Thank you, and we will see you soon. God bless you, Brother right. Bish. Thank you. So we'd like to say good evening, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, good evening. Uh, my name is Bishop Mayfield, and uh, I'm right now hosting uh, this small segment of Out Here in the Redwoods with my dear friend, Mr. Dave Story, formerly of Commotion, uh, Mason Dixon. Uh, am I missing some other, other groups? That's plenty. Uh, Dave and I are, are currently in a project, the Bishop Mayfield and Friends here in Medford, Oregon. And uh, Dave, I'd like to ask you, what inspired you to uh, become a guitar player and performer? Um, listening to the radio a lot back in the day and inspired by what I heard and my stepfather always had a guitar around it was always laying around so I would pick it up and plink around and then I had a, a friend who would stop by and teach me a little here a little there the next thing you know we're finding some other friends and learning songs so uh, can I ask you a little bit about your humble experience 
Uh, what was the first band that you were in in Humboldt County? Oh my goodness. It was a band called, well, the only one you'd remember would be High Roller with Chantel Franklin. Um, that was a that was a fun band, and that evolved into all the others. That was the core band that eventually led to Mason Dixon and to Commotion. Well, I remember you guys very well, and you guys were tearing up the music scene back in the Humboldt County back in the uh, the eighties, nineties. Uh, you guys were just fantastic. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about? Uh, High Roller, Mason, Dixon, and Commotion. Uh, like who who started it? Uh, how did it? How did how did it come together? Well, <coughs> well, High Roller was a friend of mine, Dave Rocha, and let's see, there was a singer named Steve Smith, not the piano player, right. but but the singer Steve Smith, and he had a he had a vision, and so we started that band, and he eventually left, and that opened up room for Chantel. Um, the players back then were Phil Dean, John Grayling. I'm sure I'm going to leave somebody out, but um, anyway. And then that, and the beautiful thing I remember about those times was we just rehearsed a lot. It was really about the music. There was so much preparation and so much camaraderie. Um, I just love that. I miss that today. It's it's so harder, so much harder these days to find that kind of time. And um, and then that evolved into Mason Dixon, and that even became more of a brotherhood. <coughs> we definitely a lot of time spent. Well, I remember Mason Dixon, that, and and uh, I forget the the brother's name that was the lead singer. Nick Faulkner. Nick Faulkner. Big Nick. Yes. Excellent vocalist. Uh, you guys were just killing, killing. Uh, I also have very fond memories of Commotion. Uh, you want to uh, tell us how how that came about? Well, when, when Big Nick passed and everybody just scattered, everybody went their own ways for a few years, <clears throat> but we all ended up back in Humboldt County and um, Trisha Murphy and Phil Dean were together and talked to uh, Jeff Simpson and who was the bass player back then? Tim Clausane. And um, we started, actually we had very few rehearsals played a performance for probably 4th of July or something, and that led to about five years of, of playing together. It was a remarkable time. And that was, you, you guys were just fantastic. Another group that was awesome, uh, Commotion. Uh, Trisha Murphy was always one of my favorites. Um, you know, I, I got into Humboldt County. I, I arrived in 1978 when Old Town Bar and Grill was seven nights a week. Uh, Sunday night was the jazz night. Yep. Uh, remember seeing you guys when you first when you first got there, high roller and all that stuff. Uh, do you have fond memories of Old Town Bar and Grill? I do, I do. That was a beautiful time as well. Very young, uh, full of spunk, and um, yeah, you guys were around. We looked up to you guys. You guys had the the great funk bands, and <clears throat> so and I loved that we would. Uh, also cross paths and play on the same bills. Yes. It was a small community and um, there's a lot of love there. Well, I always, uh, I love the Old Town Bar and Grill for the simple fact that not only were they great local musicians, but they brought in uh, international, national acts, Etta James, Junior Walker, the All Stars, uh, Tower of Power. I remember opening up for all those bands. Uh, remember when uh, Robert Cray first arrived at the Vance Log Cabin. I think it was like $2 to go see him. <clears throat> I remember those days we would do opening sets as well and always knew something was gonna happen with that man. Oh yeah. There's so much talent there. Very much so. Anyway, uh, anything else you'd like to add? Uh, 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 do, do we have, uh, yeah, fast forward to, to now. Do we have, uh, yeah, do you have any projects? <laughs> I should know this. Well, uh, along the way, I worked with Earl Thomas for a while. That was great. Um, and then that led to Bishop. And it, it's just, today is, is rich as well. It, this is the great band we're in tonight. We're playing tonight here in Medford and big 10-piece band and Bishop's fronting. 
um, three-piece horn section, two female vocalists, great rhythm section. So we're still at it. It's, it's still as fun as it always was. We have the great uh, Denny Cormasi, from, uh, originally from Heart, and uh, Montrose, uh, Al Donardi, uh, co-founder of Musician's Friend, uh, John Lingafelter on bass, uh, Kaylee Ryder on vocals, Jennifer DiPuglia on vocals, Mr. Dave Story on guitar, three incredible uh, horn players, uh, Tony Hayes on sax, Gary E. Nelson on trombone, and Mr. David Hubert on trumpet. So uh, if any of you get a chance to come up this way, please spend a little time with us. We'd love to see you guys. We also are in the process of writing some original material for a new album. Indeed, indeed. We have a great studio to work from, and uh, we've done some there already, but uh, the next leg of this will be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. about the studio that we're working on? Um, it's run by Sylvia Massey, producer uh, with lots of credits, um, and she's turned into a great friend, and we get to go in there and make music and have her oversee it. It's, it's a beautiful um, environment, and that's next. Well, Humbo, we love you guys. Uh, this is Bishop Mayfield, Dave Story, signing off. Uh, thank you so much, Belinda. Thank you so much, Marvin. Uh, we'll catch you guys next time around. Much love. Peace. Oh, you must have cast a spell. Yeah.